Hello everyone, the objective for today is to successfully import the file in our JASP software. So this morning, I told you to download and install the JASP software. The newest version is 0.14 in your laptops and I believe that all of you have successfully downloaded and installed the file. So for this type of data, a researcher conducted a survey to determine the quality of life of radiologic technologists during this time of pandemic. So to determine the quality of life, as you can see on screen, there are five questions or five statements related to measuring the quality of life of the respondents. As you can see, there are five male, 10 males and 10 females that were surveyed in this research. For our objective, again, we need to successfully import this file in the JASP software so we can proceed with our first statistical analysis. I will now open my JASP application. So the JASP software cannot import an Excel file. So as you observe, we need to save our file in a .csv format. To do that, we need to click File, Save As, and you choose. You select the correct file type, and in this case, we have comma separated values or .csv. Again, the JASP software in this time cannot successfully import an Excel file. And then click Save. In my case, I already saved that file in the desktop. So a quick review on the data. If a respondent answered five on that particular statement measuring the quality of life or reflective on their quality of life, that means to say he or she he feels good for number two, good, for number three, average, good, and very good. The same with the others. Okay, so now let's go to the JASP software. This is the welcome home screen of the JASP software. The newest version is JASP 0.14 and it's free. The JASP is an open source project with structural support from the University of Amsterdam. So the first step that we are going to do is to click these three bars on the leftmost portion of the screen. So on the here, so you can see there are three bars on the left. You need to click that one. That will be our entry for us to import our CSV file type. You click open. Please locate where did you save your file. So in my case, I saved the file in my desktop. So I'll click browse. And here, it's in my desktop. Again, it's in my desktop. It's the rtqol.csv. And then I will click open. Here, we have successfully imported our data set. Again, we have successfully imported our data set. So as you can see, the type of data that we have, in terms of the levels of measurement, we believe that our data is an ordinal type of data. So we are going to change the data type here into ordinal. Ordinal data because we believe that there's a ranking from pair to poor to average to good and to very good, but we cannot exactly determine that the difference between poor and pair is equal to the difference between pair and average. That is why we treat our data as an ordinal type of data. And this is also a reminder that when you use this JASP software, in the Excel file where you say where you key in your data, you need to have labels in each column. So as you have observed, I have here a number. This is in the number of the respondents who were surveyed. I have the respondent, and then I have the label for column one. This is for Q1 or the statement number one. Again, this statement measures or the or an indicator in measuring their quality of life. Two, three, four, and five. So the first activity that we are going to do now 
is to determine how many of our respondents feel very good, good, average, fair, and poor on the first statement. So all we have to do is to click descriptives. The descriptive icon is beside t-test. And it's also between this bar here. It's in the topmost portion of the screen on the left side. You click descriptives. Once you click descriptives, you drag the first statement that you want to be analyzed. Highlight click, use this arrow here to transfer, or you can also directly hold and drop into this box. Remember that we need to determine how many. So in terms of in terms of frequency, you need to click the frequency table. Automatic, once you click the frequency, the frequency result here will automatically pop out. So in this case, we have here So in this case, we have here five of the respondents who feel average, three for good, and 60% of them, or 12, feel very good on this particular statement, reflective of their quality of life. Third question, can we present our data in terms of determining the quality of life, not as a whole, but in terms of female and male. So in this case, we need to split the analysis in terms of sex. So just can easily do that. All you have to do is to click respondent. In the respondent column, we reflected if our respondent is a male or a female. So in this case, all you need to do is to click and transfer into this section. There, this is the result of the analysis. As, as you can see on screen, 5, which means very good, and the frequency count is 6. That means to say 60% of males feel very good. The same pattern was observed in terms of female where 60% also feel very good on this particular statement. So this time, we have successfully analyzed the first statement. You can also do the same for the others, Q2, Q3, Q4, and Q5. So in this activity, we have successfully imported our data set.